the family comes at the end. In closing, I want to read you one last scripture, Hebrews 11 and 6. You don't have to turn there, I'll read it to you. It says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. Would you play that at the cross again, Sister Pam, that you played earlier? I, I really feel that that's a song for this moment. Faith is the substance of things we hope for, the evidence of things we cannot see. Faith, if you look up in your dictionary when you go home, look up imagination and see what it says about imagination. Imagination in the Webster's Dictionary is almost identical to the description that I just quoted to you of what faith is. It's imagining something in your mind that's not really there. Imagining yourself in a place that you haven't arrived at yet. Almost identical. Imagination and faith go hand in hand. And if you this morning can imagine yourself in that place that you want to be, are you believing God? For a home, imagine yourself in that home. Mama, imagine yourself standing at that stove cooking that meal in that house. Close your eyes and picture yourself in that home. You say, will that really work? I'm telling you, it will. If you'll have the faith to believe. God said he would give you. This is not my word. He said he would give us the desires of our heart. My wife, I made her so mad, I made her drive all the way back from North Alabama because I found the house that I thought that God wanted us to have. She had just gotten to her mom and dad's house five and a half hours away and I made her drive all the way back home. I said, you gotta come home. This is it. She wouldn't even talk to me all the way back to Florida. Took her over to that house, Brother Joey, and Met the realtor over there and walked in, and when we walked inside, I was watching her. She said, This is it. This is my home. For several days after that, I didn't even know what my wife drove to that house. Donna. She laid her hands on the brick of that home. She anointed that house with olive oil. She said, God, this is my house. I claim this house. I want this house. She's been living in a motorhome, traveling, ministering for three and a half years. This is my home, Lord. My home. Every day, every day, she went to that house. This is my home. She walked around that house. We're living in that house today. God gave us that home. At the price that we wanted it for. He said, Will God do that for me? If He ever did it once, He'll do it again. If He did it for me, Brother Joey, He'll do it for you. As sure as I'm standing here today, say, Will, will my husband come home? Will my wife come home? It will if you believe. Anoint their pillow. Anoint their car. Pray over them. God will come through. If you'll do like Paul and Silas did, you'll cry in the midnight hour when it's dark as a dungeon. The sun seldom shines. And I question, Lord, why must this be? He tells me there's strength in my trials and there's victory in trials for me. He leaves me beside still waters. Somewhere in the valley below, then he draws me aside to be tested and tried. But in the valley, he restores my soul. Don Rambo wrote a beautiful song about that. He said, will God do that for me? He will. Yes, he will. God 
provide for my children's clothes for this school season? Whether it's in your home, whether you need a job, whether you need healing. 